Hello and welcome here to my channel. My name is, my name is Michelle Durell and today we make a pick a card reading and we are taking care of the new year. This is something that, um, you know, all these uh, predictions for the new year, uh, the horoscopes and all of that stuff uh, you find very very often um, on other channels um, at the end of the year which is also a good thing to do but i have the the feeling that we have to work with the energies actually the whole year yeah um, because when we are listening to all of that at the end of the year then uh, we have the feeling that we are ending a cycle but at least actually we are um, entering a new cycle yeah, and I would like to encourage you guys to believe in yourself, to also take the chances that life throws at you. And yes, it can sometimes look like something uh, bad is throwing at us or something, but at least um, sometimes these things can be a blessing. Um, but maybe life will, you know, throw at you some um, very juicy lemons and <laughs> I hope that the last thing will be the case. We are asking here, what will be the chances for you or the advantages that will come uh, now with 2024? And also the second question will be, um, will you be able to grab them? Yeah, because this is also important. Will we work with that or will we ignore it? And when we ignore a windfall, then, you know, um, yeah, life was actually trying to <laughs> to give us something. You get what I mean? Sometimes we get, have also unconscious programs and um, lineage from ancestors, um, topics, whatnot. This is not always our fault. But this is something that I would love to uh, discover here with you. So welcome very much here. Thank you so much that you are watching. Um, consider to subscribe when you would love to go into death, into our own soul. And also, you know, to really um, try to also make the practical steps in real life. This is something I'm encouraging very much on my channel. But of course, I'm also pointing out what are just also your lucky windfalls in the year. Yeah, we also can have it sometimes a little bit lighter. But I believe um, the one wins that also, you know, um, Go, you know, tries to come discover new ways and sometimes is also putting the work. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we have here three decks. And by the way, on my channel, um, the Zodiac videos um, are coming out um, during the year here on my channel. I know this is a little bit different than what you actually know, um, but I think it's very much better to really work with the energies now because we are now in 2024 and we haven't been in 2024 when we ended up 2023. <laughs> you get the logic, yeah? Um, Mercury is going um, direct right now. Whoop, whoop. So that's wonderful. And all the planets are going direct right now too. So this is very, very rare because in the past always it was something a retrograde that was blocking, but actually now we can make better plans. We got here now three different decks and you can choose for you, for this pick a card reading or just one of the decks or also more decks however you feel like picking all right just trust your intuition maybe something is you know um coming to you in a way for you visually whatever you like to you can also hear a number so that will be the first oracle that's the traditional tarot that's the second oracle another tarot deck and this is the crystal tarot that will be the third oracle. When you need a bit uh, of time to choose, then you can always stop the video and take your time that you need. I give you a little bit, some seconds here. We are doing here on my channel in-depth tarot readings, pick a cards, and I'm also 
quite artsy as a Pisces. So everything what you see here, my spiritual work and death and also my creative work is a thing of many, many years. So I also do um, music oracles where I pick a song and I sing live. So when you are excited about that, you guys, so you can always, you know, subscribe. And from time to time, there will be something like that too. All right. All right. Enough uh about this channel first of um just you know what i'm gonna do now is um pull just one card for the collective and then we begin the pick a card reading and this is the goddess oracle it's in german uh, my channel is in three different languages but at the same time simultaneously you find an english video as well as other languages, also my mother tongues, I don't want to forget, you know. So you guys, this is just an information for us, but also first and foremost for myself. Why? Because I want to know with which collective I'm working. <laughs> and um, because I want to help you the best I can. And the card is the Holy Family. Ooh, wow. Wow. Wow, you are a nice collective. Hello. <laughs> you the holy family here um i'm following the the guidance or just the way of pleasure pleasure in the most highest form i would say right all right holy family um that was just you know was just nice to know for me and also for you i believe um, so maybe we are soulmates here and not so much karmic. So that would be very nice. <laughs> um, to the holy family, um, could come some messages um, during the reading too. Or just during the year, you know. Uh, I would like leave it now like that. And we start now with the first pick a card reading. And I let the information just fall, you know, um, flow through me. And when I have the urge to um, put the information of the first card of the Indian tarot here of this holy family into consideration, I will do so. So that's my intuitive style of doing these readings, all right? All right. So what was the question again? <laughs> yeah, I have to pull three cards now, they say. Spirit is saying. What will be the um, the chances here and will you grab the bullet bull by its horns that will be the second question ah yeah light heartedness unconsciously you guys unconsciously you still have or still have or will have you know for everybody it is something different but i see here an instability okay you have an unconscious that could be, you know, when I'm telling that, I'm not s telling that in a way that um, you can't change that. You can, because the thing is, when we see, like, I mean, I was asking about the advantages. The advantage, you guys, will be here that you will have a lighter approach to things. But the point is, with the two of pentacles that could be also quite an instability with money and with attachment right um, maybe we are too much flying in the air somehow maybe you guys are air signs yeah um, you don't need to be air signs you can be you can have a lot of air in your chart um, for you guys for this group in the first pile um, the air sign horoscopes that I will do astrologically, so they will come out on my channel um, uh, through the through the year even, you know. I'm not limiting the time on that. I mean, I try to do them, of course, as fast as I can. I mean, we don't need uh, a horoscope 2024 in December 2024, so that will be not the case, yeah. <laughs> But um, at least we are working with these energies and it will be the right timing when they come out. So I believe like um, the, um, the predictions for the air signs can be a very, very good thing for you. Yeah, um, to put that into consideration for the normal sign of Zodiac that you have. But maybe you are even 
um, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. That could be, but you don't need to be. It could be also, you know, um, in your uh, main uh, planets or something like that. Yeah, so, you know, this lightheartedness um, could also, you know, be an instability with money when you are rich you know then maybe it's not the, the point so much <laughs> but you guys um the thing is there is a lightheartedness also with money yeah so maybe you are pay paying bills in a way that you don't need to pay because you are throwing your money a little bit away because you don't care for it yeah um so take that what resonates Take please that what resonates. It could be also, you know, this is a collective reading. For some of you, it is, you know, a serious thing where you just have to really take care of your money, your bank account, and where the money is flowing. And on the other hand, there is just an unconscious, and it's not conscious for you right now where you're listening to that even. That could be the case, yeah? Still a collective reading, so I cannot promise every 100% for everybody. Um, for that matter, you can always um, book with me every time a personal reading. So my email address is there underneath in the info box. Yeah, so you can always write me. Um, so that's not a booking yet or whatsoever. You can just ask how to make a reading or so on something and I give you the information, right? But the, this is an instability. Just, you know, you are not not grounded, even though you think like you have now money. Something in you is not grounded. And this is something you can, you guys, consider in meditating. And you need grounding, yeah? Um, this group for the first pile needs grounding. That would be taking the bullet by its horns, you guys. is very much, you know, um, being aware that there is this light aspect to life. Maybe you are somebody who is not... not worrying about life so much which is a good thing other people have it all right they have it really all i mean from money to love to i don't know but they are worrying the whole day believe it or not you're not like that and this is the advantage yeah you guys there may be also more to manifest out of the blue without you know having a backing plan so much but at least this is the thing you can fall on your nose on that when you overdo it right meditate meditating what i do is um, um i have an alarm on my phone everybody has nowadays right and i'm meditating when i'm very very tired i'm meditating even 20 minutes or something but I put the alarm on 10 minutes, on 15 minutes, and I'm meditating. I try to meditate every day, which is not always possible for me. But guys, this is like a therapy, you know, and stuff is really coming up. Yeah. When you want to know more about that, I can also make a special on that. Right. I will do it on Instagram. These um, videos where I'm where I'm speaking also about stuff like that. So you can. Uh, consider there to subscribe i have to check that out how it works with these longer videos there also so this is something we have to take care it could be also that we are light-hearted with the money of other people also yeah or um we think like everybody has the same resources like us and you know this is naive yeah <laughs> When you take energy from somebody, um, you have to put energy back to them, at least. Yeah, this is like given and take. And these things, these are questions, just overall questions about grounding, money, whatnot, um, is very important. Yeah, you you lack here a little bit of knowledge in some things. Um, so, okay, let's, let's uh, go further. Yeah. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. But you know what? Something will gonna happen where you actually recognize where you have a lack. Yeah. And yes, it won't be maybe nice. Some of you are walking around with color shaped glasses, with, you know, pink color shaped glasses. And the universe needs to create a tower moment for you sorry to say that because you have to wake up yeah it could be anything which is no grounding um consider also to to look at your contracts or 
any sort of agreement with other people. Maybe you have the wrong partner and they are, you know, throwing money out of the window and you don't know anything about that and that's your 50-50 bank account or whatnot, okay? I'm like very much, you know, overdo it. I hope this is very much overdoing now. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to learn, you must learn in this year, that you have to hold on to your resources more tightly and have a realistic view. Okay, but it's an advantage. I was asking about the advantages, yeah? I didn't say that it that it will be a pleasure. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, would you succeed in that? Now you know it, you know? Now you know there is a danger and whatnot. Yeah, but you could still be... No, no, you are smart. You are smart people. You have a lot of air in your chart here somehow. Or you have a transit with a lot of air, you guys, yeah? You have an influence at least, which is important this year, of air. And this is also intellect, intelligence, yeah? Um, the age of Aquarius we have. Um, it's a very intelligent social sign. You know how to talk with people. You know when to initiate, when to act, and when, when to uh, lay back somehow and wait and see and... Um, observe you know it you have a good intuition you have the ability to act on these things and you also know the timing when so listen to your intuition because it's spot on yes you guys what you can also do is um, when you know that you are in the wrong environment with the wrong people, with the wrong co-worker somehow, maybe with the wrong partner. Believe in yourself that you have the ability to really work your ass out of that. And I mean like after your job, yeah, um, sitting down in the evening or at night and, um, you know, uh, maybe building up a luck lucrative uh, side hustle, right? And you think like, oh, I don't have the energy. But when you start um, going into this and, you know, sometimes it is the best tip to really, you know, push through and to make the work to really set yourself free from this uh, lack of grounding, you know, um, it, it could show up in um, lack of money. Yeah, uh, if it's not money, then that could be resources otherwise. But this is very individual. We can check that out in a personal reading. How I said, my email address is there underneath the info. Um, yeah, you, you have the ability to do more work and have more discipline as you think. And the universe wants the universe wants the highest best for you. It wants that you are finding your truth in your soul and don't do too many compromises or at least actually the universe wants you to make no compromises. And you have, um, that's, that's nice, you have a spirit guide. That's your spirit guide and the spirit guide is a, is a Taurus. This spirit guide, guide is a very, very... Um, you know, uh, Taurus energy, very practical, practical work. Yeah. So thank you so much. Pile number one. Um, thank you for your likes and your comments. If you need me, my email address is there standing everywhere. And um, if you would like to donate something, my PayPal is also there. So everything flows into the work of this channel and makes it better for you at least. Thank you. And now we are continuing with pile number two. Hello, pile number two. Um, when you chose this deck, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to be back in, you know, a few seconds. This is my workspace here out of my bed. I love that. I got my coffee going on, my water going on. <laughs> And it's very cozy, you can imagine, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you guys, that you are here and watching. It is, uh, it means the world for me, to me. And <laughs> uh, yeah, consider to subscribe when you like my channel here and these readings. Yeah, and now we check out. So what will be the advantages 
what will be the presence, the advantages, let's say, five of swords. Wow. Silently. Wow. You will have the chance to make deep, deep shadow work here. You will see what are my dark sides, your dark sides, how these dark sides I wanted to ignore, okay? And you also see the dark sides of others. And the good thing is when you're putting the work in that, so when you are meditating over that, journaling over that, even put all that into more depth, yeah? then you will very, very clearly, you have very much the ability here in this year 2024 to differ very much, see like, okay, these are your dark sides and these are mine. And what I see in you could be something in me, but if that's nothing what is in me, it could be just in you. You know, sometimes, you know, people are mirroring our personality but sometimes we also have to um, separate that and also see if it's really us you know what I mean and you will differ one from the other which is a which which is super super wise to do yeah this is the first advantage I love that yeah I love that for you it's very very nice yeah and stability and money I love that. You know, what comes um, out of that is when we analyze very well, okay, is this person there? Yeah, let's say maybe somebody you're uh, living with, working with, are in a relationship with whatsoever. When you actually can see, or when you're asking, when we ask ourselves, is that really an a-hole or do I um think that only yeah or do i have myself some darkness in me and um, they are playing it out on this stage of life and you will see th through this wow this is so good this is wonderful taurus is a very very yeah the hierophant that's taurus but that's also what you have the chance to really um to live your highest self, um, to walk onto the path of um, of your soul, your soul path, yeah, your soul path um, wants to have the the partner that fits to us on a soul level, but also what we what we want in a partner, yeah? Yes, it can include some superficiality, but not only, of course. It has to be the whole package that must be likable for us, right? Okay? So we are not like, you know, killing our egos here totally. <laughs> uh, you get what I want to say. So our soul wants what our soul wants, yeah? And you have here very much the chance to really walk this path and also very much being in peace, being in peace through this understanding of these, um, you know, dark sides or whatnot in us and in others, on, on others only or in us or whatnot, right? You will see through that, you will accept that. And Taurus is a very, very, you know, that's very much, you, you will have patience then, yeah? Of course, patience ca can come through understanding. And that's what I see for you. And I love that. <laughs> Yeah, you will have the chance to really go very deep within. You, it could be that you will have, that you will make past life regressions, that you can see through past lives, that you see who is karmic, who is a soulmate. You will see who is karmic, who is a soulmate. You will differ one from the other. That's good. Okay, so in your mind, you will differ one from the other. Financially, I see you stable here, pile number two. You're stable financially, okay? And um, the thing is just, will you act on that, okay? Will you grab the bullet by its horns? So that's the main question also. Not only will it be a lucky year, we also want to know, do you have the ability to actually grab that bullet by its horns and, you know, um, uh, live through this or just, you know, take whatnot, yeah? Blah, blah, blah. So... 
Um, mm -hmm. Let me meditate a bit. I need to meditate a bit now. Wow, children, children. Yeah, children. Oh, there are unborn children in your energy field. You guys, could be that you will be pregnant. If you don't want that, take care. This is the first. Because children wants to be born. <laughs> um, little children wants to be born. If these are not children... It could be also both. It's also communication. Um, you have to unblock your throat chakra. Yeah. When you unblock your throat chakra, then the singer will be born. The singer, the singer, um, the. But this is this is only for the artsy people. So when you guys are singing or something or making other arts, but actually these are more singers. And Taurus is a singer too. Yeah. Taurus is very much singing, drinking red wine. You know. Moving the hips around, <laughs> being grounded, I don't know, enjoying the flowers <laughs> and the touch and so, and the silk on the skin, that's all Taurus, right? Um, and also some depth in that, right? And also, you know, safety. Yeah, that's Taurus is very interesting. Having the, the Hierophant, having um, the stability with money. You you will make the money here in this year. So you will be financially stable, you guys. That's nice. Um, you will unblock your throat chakra if that's a thing for you, but not immediately. It will be, it will take some inner work for that. Maybe you don't dare to sing in front of others or speak. Yeah. If it's not on stage, then it is maybe in a relationship or something. Maybe you have to discuss in your marriage that you want to have children or something, yeah? Maybe your partner comes to you and says, I want to have children, and you say no. And then after a few weeks or something, you recognize, no, I want to have these children, and I actually was not conscious about that. But this is just for a little group for you, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think you will grab this bullet by its horns in a practical way with these pentacles, for sure. For sure. If you have children and you are a single mother or a single dad, yeah, it will be okay. You know, you will have also money from family or from your partner or something like that. Okay. So, you know, um, I believe that's enough. Um, this is a general reading. These were examples that came for me or come, came for you, came up. Thank you so much. You know, thanks for liking, for subscribing, for your comments, for your nice comments. Thank you. If you need me, my email address is there everywhere, so you can always write me a message, right? <laughs> if you consider to, um, you know, uh, to donate, my PayPal is also there. Um, so uh, every money falls into, flows into the channel. So to make this channel better for you, that's the goal. Thank you. And now we will continue with pile number three. Thank you so far that you're watching, you guys. Pile number three, when you cho cho no, chose, <laughs> sorry, chose this deck, I'm going to shuffle and I'm back in a second and I'm, you know, sip a little bit of my coffee. Otherwise, it will be cold. How are you guys? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Yeah. So I'm concentrating on your energies here. And I'm going to be back in a second. Yeah. What will be the advantages in this year? And will you be able to work with these energies? Yeah. Yeah. Transformation. Something is going to change for you. But this is in your highest good all right so it must change it is a natural change it is not a shocking change it is something that must just change and there is a transformation there is also scorpio here going on you guys maybe could be scorpios in your zodiac signs this is a general reading you guys so um, take that what resonates maybe you have a lot of scorpio in your chart or you know a lot of scorpion people in your surrounding that could be everything the case here 
I love the colors. I love this turquoise. Yeah, look at this card. This is beautiful painted. Really love the colors. Yeah, there is also a lot of intellect with this blue, but a lot of meditation, going into death, um, feeling your emotions, um, considering your emotions. Yeah, healing your emotions, if you will. Meditating. Meditating is a very good tip for everybody, I would say. Mm -hmm. The Empress. maybe somebody lost here a child i hope i don't trigger anyone if i would trigger anyone so sorry so much for that well this is just what um what i'm seeing here somebody lost a child if you didn't lose a child in the past or if somebody told you that you have to you know give up a child it could be also the case if it's not you it is an ancestor in your bloodline and that makes that maybe you have no children or you have children you have problems with your children or any sort of topic with your children could be because of this ancestor in the past any sort of topic with a child if it was your decision if it was not your decision if it was the decision of your partner in the past or you know uh, recently you have the feeling unconscious you know i'm talking about the unconscious there is an unconscious feeling that there is that the ground here on earth also is not safe enough to to create a family there is not enough space to create an own family or any sort of this is this is the last thing you're doing is actually feeling abundant abundance is not only money abundance also space place accepting thyself yeah um so much accepting and loving ourselves and also the partner that we are with to uh, create life together and this is in your unconscious and the advantage will be that you will feel through this and you will stop um killing this wish inside of you could be one of thing or um how to say that oh this freaking word i'm oh man sabotage ourselves yeah self sabotage has a chance to you kill yourself sabotage to you know kill life <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah um you you will work through the circumstances in this year will make that you will work through any sort of self-sabotage habits maybe yeah or something how will you deal with these things the star nice mm -hmm. yeah you will need this year to meditate over these things these problems maybe you know some shakes um, you will shake some things through. Maybe you will start arguing with people even. But it's it's for your, for the ho um, whole best, yeah? To argue with people, actually, when you have the wrong partner or they are sabotaging, actually, you know, having children. I don't know what your issue is. But the thing is, um, whatever will happen or how you will react to the situation, yeah, some things can trigger. And what? Then they are fucking triggering, yeah? Some people, they have also, you know, accepted that there is a mirror. So when somebody is triggering you, maybe they do it on purpose. Maybe they are also unconscious somehow, you know what I mean? And we get angry. Yeah, come on, then don't trigger, yeah? So, you know, um, also emotional unconscious people are telling emotional people that they are, um, you know, immature emotionally but hey don't be immature yourself you know what i mean so and it goes it just goes both ways this is what i want to say about that and i don't say that you know bursting out emotions is mature it is not but it's also not to prov provoke somebody <laughs> you get what my point yeah you will meditate over these things um it will come up but it will heal yeah there is a healing and there is a bigger conscious through that. And also maybe accepting that you don't have children if that might be the case. But this is not for everyone. Yeah. Take that what resonates. That's in collective reading. 
Thank you so much for watching, for liking, sharing and for subscribing to my channel. It is a pleasure for me to do these readings for you, to have contact with you. So um, I love every comment reading and um, yeah, again, thank you. If you need me, my email address is there everywhere. Consider subscribing and the Zodiac horoscopes if you currently watching that in the beginning of the year will come at least it is a um, you know timeless reading for always when you feel drawn to bye that was michelle durell and have a wonderful time see you then to the next video